Talking about the beacons, I think the beacons combined with the business cards can do you six figures a year, six figures plus in recurring in recurring revenue. If you take the business card, the beacon, and the texting and put that together as a package, very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. Marketing strategy. Okay, that's good. Let's let's it's easy for everybody else to say. Let's get going here. It's good to see everybody tonight. Good to have everybody in training uh, once again on a Wednesday night, right here from just outside Dallas, Texas, where it's cold and rainy and windy. But that's okay. We're going to make it through it anyway. You know, I, I think it's rained every Wednesday night for the last year for some reason uh, on training nights, which is fine. That means I'm not out anyway. But it's good to have everybody here on behalf of the App Wizard Studio team. We want to welcome you to our training night. Uh, real quick, let's go th get through the housekeeping. If you have not um, join our Facebook group, join our Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash AWS Mastermind. And if you have not joined our App Wizard Studio YouTube channel, I highly recommend you do that. Let me throw that link up in the box real quick. Make sure you join the YouTube channel. There we go. Uh, that's where all the trainings go. The trainings are live. They go in there live even as we're doing them. So make sure you go in and join the YouTube channel. Uh, real quick, App Wizard Studio, nor I cannot guarantee just because you're watching training you will make any sales, create any traffic, or increase your income. Every person is different, has different work ethics, and different desires. Uh, tonight, I uh, had a lot of requests about the app templates. Uh, I don't think a lot of people are using the app templates or, or maybe don't know how to use the app templates. The app templates are absolutely the easiest way to build uh, apps, especially the mobile business cards. They were really set up for that arena for you to be able to, to start out quick and, and fast. So we're going to go right on the prep platform. And then um, I had I had a great privilege. I was invited to a uh, invitation only webinar uh, with a fellow by the name of George Campbell. And uh, tonight I want we're going to talk about uh, the consistency chain. He has written a book called The Consistency Chain. And uh, so we've been talking about sales over the past couple of weeks. So I want to end tonight's training about the last 20 or 30 minutes or so, uh, talking about the consistency chain and making it really just making it happen, you know, and, and getting out there and having a plan of success. You know, th there's one thing I can tell you, if I didn't have a plan, I, I would fail every day. And there's days I fail anyway. And, uh, you know, I, I don't always consider it a failure. I consider it a learning experience that I don't want to go through the next day. So we're going to talk about the consistency chain. I want to share that with you. Uh, it was an exceptional webinar. He was just, he was sitting in his office and uh, there was about a hundred of us on this call and uh, he was sharing uh, why he wrote the book and how he wrote the book. And uh, I don't know if, how many of you have ever heard of Jerry Seinfeld, uh, great comedian and uh, had a great show on television and uh, ran for many, many years. And uh, but he's the one that came up with this consistency chain, and that's what made him so successful. And then George wrote a book around that. So we're going to talk about that tonight. I've got a slide presentation that uh, I did not put it together. I actually got it from him. And so we're going to talk about that. And I, and I think you'll get, uh, as BK says, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of golden nuggets from that. That's really going to help you focus, because I think that's really where we lose out. Uh, when we work for ourselves, when we work for somebody else, uh, we have to focus because they tell us to, right? But when we work for ourselves, we have to maintain our own focus. And so, but let's get into the uh, App Wizard Studio platform real quick. I'm going to switch over screens. The template platform is was put together so that we could easily go in and create mobile web apps uh, in a very fast, efficient manner so that we didn't have to spend time looking, trying, figuring out, going through a bunch of different tabs. For example, and I'm going to show you both ways here real quick. 
If you go in and create a, a web app, and if you went over here to custom web app, you literally have to go put every single thing together. Carry template. And I've got to go through and I've got to type every little thing in, including every single tab. All right. And so I'm going to hit save. And now I'm going to come over and I'm going to continue. And now I've got to go back into the app. And this is the old way of doing it. And you're still welcome to do it this way. I know a lot of people that do. Uh, I'm not sure why. But you have to come in here, and I'm not going to build this completely out, but you have to come in here and you have to add the V card, and you've got to manually go in and type every bit of this stuff. Then you have to come in and you have to come in and put your Facebook and your Twitter and, and the rest of your stuff. Now, Facebook and Twitter is the only two things that are in the template side, but that's what most people have. They usually don't have, but if you have to put Instagram in, then you only, you only have to come in and type in one link. Uh, then you have to come in and drop the email in the email us form. You have to come down here and fill out completely the address and all this information. Uh, then you have to come up here once you've done all that and you have to turn off the buttons that you don't want to be seen and you have to, you have to shift everything around and set it up so that, uh, you know, like here you, you see it's got join on this, share web app, home, menu, and the, the templates allow you to set it up uh, in a manner that has been very, very successful. There's been thousands of apps sold with that template, okay, with that style. Uh, they're easy to use, and you can also go in and make any changes you want. Now, I know some people are locked into their way of building apps, and that's perfect. You know, that's, that's the way it should be. Um, you shouldn't be... If, if you're building, if you're taking someone else's app and all you're doing is copying their app, then you're, you know, you really take the creativeness out of what you do and you, you really take away your personality and everything else. And I, I think that's important in this, any business is that you set your tone for your personality and, and what your business does. You know, I'll be honest with you. I don't want to be like anybody that's on this call. I don't want to design apps like everybody else on this call. I want to put my own personality in it. So with the template club, of the, with, the, with the templates, what we did is we built a basic framework and you can select whatever you want. And I'm fixing to go in there and show you that. Or you can, uh, you can build it from scratch either way. So you come in, you set everything up, you turn the links off that you don't want uh, or do want and just come in and set everything up. And, and you've got, then you've built out a complete app this way takes somewhere around 20 to 30 minutes, okay? About 20 to 30 minutes because you've got to come in and you got to rearrange everything. you got to set everything up exactly the way it's supposed to be and the whole nine yards. Now, let's go back over here. And I'll show you my go-to. I, I use it in every app I build. We're going to come over and we're going to create a new app. We're going to go into 2.0 web app. And we're going to come over here to the template club. Now, as you can see, there are multiple apps here and using two different styles. So if you went into an accountant and he didn't have a logo and, and uh, you, you was going to create his logo or whatever, you could literally select an accountant app and have this built. All you have to do is put the logo in and the information, the colors and everything are already done. Everything matches the, the, you can see here, the ruler, the tax file book. I use the colors when I designed this. Everything matched uh, same, all the way down. You know, here's, uh, here's an accountant right here. Uh, here's an auto body shop. Took the colors, the grays out of the, out of the fan here and everything and created all this. You don't have to do any of this. I mean, this is a great, I've used this body shop at me uh, numerous times, numerous times. Uh, here's an auto detailing, the same thing. Colors were taken out of the car and out of the windshield to create the colors in the app. Um, but these are all set up and done for you. This is a builder. You know, it has the blueprint in the back, and you can see you took the colors off the blueprint. So everything's done for you. And, and you can use either style. Uh, I really like this style here because it opens up the, the app if you've got a really nice background to it. 
Uh, and the same thing here, uh, what I do here is these are shaded down. The transparencies are, are, are degraded just a little bit so that you can still see through here. You can still see the frame of the house and everything through here. Then all you have to do is drop a logo up here. And I will tell you, based on the number of contractor apps that I've built, just about every single one of them have these colors in them. Uh, they, you know, it's, it's, it's a contractor. I mean, everything's about building, right? So they're, so they've got homes or they've got uh, those kind of things. Uh, a couple of really nice um, lawn and garden apps in here. If you do the lawn and garden thing here, here's a nice electrician app, really good electrician app. Financial planning. I mean, anything you, anything you can think of in here, here's a golf course, handyman, another handyman, another handyman. Landscaping app. If you got somebody that does lawn and garden, I I use this app right here uh, in in Arizona. Uh, matter of fact, I've used both of these apps. I've used this app right here several times. You know, and it takes me about five minutes to build it. Literally five minutes to build it. Now you think about this for a moment. You go out and sell that app for 150 bucks or 200 bucks or whatever, and it took you five minutes to build it. I mean, what is that? 250 times uh, 12, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 60. So that's 12 times. What is 250 times 12? I mean, that's a lot of money an hour, right? And that's what we want. That's what we're looking for. We, we want to make sure that we make the maximum amount of money for our work that we get paid for. I mean, that's 3,000 bucks an hour, you know? Go out and sell you 12 apps a month, and you're getting paid $3,000 an hour. And you don't have to work one hour that month, right? <laughs> you want to work more than that, but, but, but you get my gist. So keep it simple. I can tell you this. The, the best thing you can do in any business is keep it simple. Keep all the crap out. Take away all the frustrations. Take away all the anxieties. And keep it simple. Um, Sometimes I'm too simple, I think. You know, sometimes I'm so simple that uh, I don't see some things coming, but everything for me is simple and I have to keep it that way. So keep it simple, but just come in here and take a look through these templates. Uh, this was an actual attorney app that I turned into this template right here. This was for an attorney. Uh, we've got medical down here, medical doctor, medical doctor a nail salon, pest control. And these also are, um, this is a, a, a pub, pouring a glass of beer. These are also businesses that uh, are in my wheelhouse. Some pizza restaurants, Mexican restaurants. So, Really, you can come down through here and you can quickly select a template to build an app. Now, these two templates here, I like coloring my own apps. I'm, that's just the way I am. I'm anal like that. I want my apps to have my personality like I was talking about earlier. I want my apps to carry my brand. I want my apps to look like me and what I build. So these are my two go-tos, okay? These are the exact same templates as these, app, these apps that have the backgrounds in them and everything's already colored for you. So let's go in here real quick and we're gonna select this template right here. And you can see it's just simply grayscale. Everything is black and white, all right? So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna call this carry template too. I'm going to actually build out an app that I built today. Okay. Um, it's a church app. Give me one second here. I'm going to pull up the, uh, I got to remember the name of it. Uh, I forgot the name of the name of the app. Hang on just one second, I'll tell you. Well, I won't tell you. I've got, I've got to look it up because I forgot the name of the app. 
Uh, let me get it right here. Cause I'm, I'm gonna build out this exact app that I built today because it pretty much allows me to show you every single thing that I did. And the name of it is Pueblo, Pueblo, Pueblo. L M N O P. Pueblo de Dios. Okay, I'm going to pull the logo out here. Okay, there's the logo, and I'm going to upload the icon. And they sent this logo to me. I didn't build it, but I'm going to go ahead and upload the logo and the icon. Now, let me show you what I did here. And I do this a lot. I usually take the image that, that is on their card, like this was their card that they sent me. And I just simply came in and I cut this image out. And that's what I made the icon out of. Takes you takes literally, you know, two or three minutes to do that. And then if you have to clean it up a little bit, just take your eraser and clean up whatever you have to clean up. So let's come in down here and I will call this uh, uh, church app. Okay, and we'll put the click to call in there, the work number in there. Mobile number. And I cut and paste all this. I don't even do, I don't even deal this for. And you can see, even if you type it in, it doesn't take you long. Check the address. Go ahead and put Facebook in there. Go ahead and put Twitter in there. Hit save. Oops. So let's go up here and put a small T, small K. Scroll down, hit save. What the heck? You can tell I cut and paste a lot. Hit save. And I'm ready to go in and color my app. And I, I don't know how long that took, what, four or five minutes? I've already got my icon uploaded. I go in and hit edit web app. I've already got everything done. Now I'm just simply gonna come in and I'm gonna color my buttons. So let's go up here and I'm gonna color this exactly like I did today. There's our styles and colors. Can everybody see my colorzilla up here? Can everybody see this where I'm pointing on the top of my uh, toolbar here? Make sure that everybody can see that. Yes, okay. This is colorzilla. This is what I use to pull the colors off of my apps, okay? And so we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go to advanced. I don't know if y'all can hear my dog snoring or not, but she's sleeping away. Okay, I'm gonna come up here to tab bar. I'm gonna pick this off. I'm gonna pick this blue color right here. I'm gonna come over here to background color. I'm gonna 
paste that code. All I did was copy that in there and I'm gonna paste that code right there. Sorry about that, I hit C. Control V is to paste, Control C is to copy. If you notice, I'm hitting these little three lines up here that opens up where I can put, put in the hex code. Okay, and I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna hit save. And now I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna pull this green off. All I do is copy it. You can see it copies to the clipboard. I'm gonna put that under border color. Actually, I'm gonna put the selected background as that same color. And I'm gonna make the icons white. I'm gonna to go to footer bar. I'm gonna go use header colors. Yes, copy. There's my footer bar. I'm gonna to go to content body. I'm gonna come up here to contact us. I wanna make sure everything's done here. I'm gonna put a nice border around that. Let's go ahead and put this color border right here. Border size. Let me put some radius on there. And let me put a little bit of content padding on there so it sets up nice. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I say this every now and then just because just in case the phone rings or something and I go out of it. Let's go back to home. Let's go to settings. <clears throat> These are already set up. The only thing you might want to do is change what that is. Like this right here is set to double styling. You may want to set it to ridge or you may want to set it to double or you may want to set it to inset. And you can see the difference in those. Let me change the color of it here real quick. I want to make those green. And so when I go to inset, there's ridge. You can see it puts a little gray line on the bottom of it there where it looks like it's uh, 3D. I use that a lot. Let's make it double. We're not gonna really change too much. Let's go to the icon box. Background color is white. Let's make that green. Let's make the border color blue. And we're gonna make the icon white. Right here, I use this sometimes, sometimes I don't. What this does is it puts a border inside of the uh, uh, inside of the icon there. Sometimes when I have a, like an auto place, I kind of make this look like a wheel and then I'll put the spokes in the middle of it and everything. I mean, that's just kind of my interpretation. Let's see, we'll make that a, we'll make that a ridge. Give it that 3D look. Let's come down here and we're gonna make that green but you're gonna see that as a green, it's gonna stand out a little bit. It's just a little bit deeper green with the ridge. It gives it just a little bit different color scheme right there. So we're gonna come down here to text content box. We're gonna continue with our theme. We're gonna background color is gonna be the blue. Border color is gonna be what? It's gonna be green. Now, sometimes I do this, you know, and, and this is totally up to you. You can see I got border all the way around that. I'm going to take off the bottom, bottom border. And I'm going to take off the bottom, the right side. Okay, and it just gives it a little bit different look there. And I'm going to make the border uh, green and I'm going to make the text white. And now let's come down here and I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to show you what I do. I have this on here so I can see it just to, so I make sure I do it. But I'm going to come up here to the footer. And this is just my little quirk. You guys don't have to do this. I'm gonna go to tab bar, I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna put that on only sub pages. So every page except the home page will have the back button because you don't really need a home button and a back button on the page. Okay, make sure you save it. Come down to styles and colors. Let's reload. And now you can see that I don't have that on there any longer. The next thing we wanna do is what? We want to come down here and go to our social media icons. I like kind of making these the same color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the icon white. I'm gonna make the background blue. 
I'm going to make the uh, border color green. And I like making these a little bit smaller also. So I just bring the size down just a little bit. And then I bring the spacing in a little bit. Just gives it a nice clean look. Now I'm going to come down here to this, this triangle. I'm going to hit green. I'm going to hit blue. And we have a perfectly color matched app that literally took me, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And that was talking. So you can see if once you have your icon and your image, which they should be sitting to you unless you're building it. And I hope if they send that image to you and you build it, that you're getting a couple hundred bucks for that. Uh, you know, we, we tend to, uh, I, I talked about this last night on a training, we, we tend to kind of give things away because we think that we're not going to make the deal. We would rather give something away that's going to cost us time and money than to lose, to lose a deal that we're now not making any money on. So, you know, don't, 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 don't give things away for free. Just close a deal. If they're not willing to pay for your work and pay you for your skills and pay you for a great product that looks really, really good, uh, then guess what? They don't need it anyway. You know, they're just looking for a handout. They're looking for something free. And uh, we're going to talk about this uh, in the next segment of our training. But guys, you're in business to make money. Okay. You are in business to make money. And in order to make money, you have to set a level for yourself. Never take yourself to a level lower than what's expected of you yourself. Always charge what you know you are worth. And every one of you are worth a ton. Okay. Uh, $250, $300, $500 an hour is what you're worth. I mean, what you're giving these folks out there is good, high quality. I mean, this is a church app. And I can tell you, as soon as this was delivered this morning, uh, I got a phone call and they were just ecstatic. They said, wow, every color matches. How did you do that? You see, they don't know how you do it. They just think you're magic and that you have mad skills and you do and you are. So make sure you charge what you know you're worth. Never belittle yourself by undercharging someone. I'd rather make $250 today from one client than I would make $250 today from four clients. Why should I do four times the work when I can do it one time and make the same amount of money? You know, and, and that's just the way I operate. Some things I, some things I have set uh, at a low price because of the recurring income on the other side, but there's no work in that. How long does it take to set up a texting account? 20 seconds, 30 seconds that you're going to make, you know, 150 and 30, $180 a year on. I mean, it takes you five seconds to do it. And you're going to make 180 bucks. Five, there's five, two, there's 12. That's 12 times 12, 244. You know, what's 244 times 180? That's what you just made on, on five seconds worth of work, you know, so Never, ever, 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 ever discount yourself out of a job. Never. Be the worst thing you can ever do. And that's, that's literally using the templates, okay, and building out a really nice app that your customer is really going to like. Now, there's times I come in and I put really nice backgrounds in these and, and do some things, and, and I charge a little more for that and because it takes me a little more time. But still, you're only talking five or 10 more minutes. You know, it takes five minutes to literally lay a background into here. By the time you cut the background in, in, in your uh, graphics program and put it in. So, but charge for that. And as everybody knows, I charge $49 for every single thing I do. If I had to scratch my nose twice and it's for them, it's 49 bucks. $49. And you do enough $49 on, on upgrades on an app, and you took that app from a couple of hundred bucks to three or $400. And they will pay it because they want it. They want that done. So never, ever, ever shortchange yourself. Any questions on using the template program? Does everybody got that down pretty well? And for everybody that's going to watch this training, I highly recommend that you use the template club or the template program, not the template club. Nobody really goes to the template club anymore because people were kind of 
using other people's apps <laughs> to sell and taking credit for it, which isn't cool. Okay. Any questions at all on using templates? And literally in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you can have a complete mobile business card created and built and walk out the door and sell it for 150 to 200 bucks all day long, all day long. You should literally be selling mobile business cards. If you're not selling 10 mobile business cards a week, you're not out selling. You're, 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 you're wasting your time doing something else. If you're not selling 10 mobile business cards a week. Now, if you're just getting started, you're probably not going to sell 10 mobile business cards a week. But if you've been doing this for six months or longer and you're not selling 10 mobile business cards a week, then you're not out selling. You're out spinning your wheels. Spinning your wheels. And then add the texting onto it, a beacon or two. Now you've got your, your uh, recurring income to $60 to $100 a month. That's $1,200 a month on one client. You do that 50% of the time out of five clients. That's an additional $6,000 a year off of five clients. And a lot of people say, well, Carrie, my customers won't pay that. Then, then you've got the wrong customers. You're talking to the wrong people. Do not sell to people who do not have money because you will go broke just like they are. That's just the way business works. You cannot sell to people who cannot afford your product. You have to upgrade. You have to upgrade your clientele because those people that have money will pay you to do exactly what you do. But that will not happen unless you get off your butt and get out there and sell. That's just, just the way it is. You know, <laughs> you appreciate my honesty? Well, I, I would rather be honest with you. I would rather be honest with you than to sit here and say, you know what, guys, you can get on the phone and sell two or three of these a day and, and uh, make a ton of money. And I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'd rather be honest with you, but I appreciate you saying that. I am honest. If, if my mom tells me I'm too honest sometimes. <laughs> but uh, all right, well, let's come over here. I want to talk to you. We, we're going to finish up tonight talking about sales, okay? And, and I had a, a, a very distinct pleasure of being uh, invited to a personal conference uh, with a fellow by the name of George Campbell who wrote this book, The Consistency Chain. It's only about 100 pages long, but it's very, very, very powerful. And these are just some slides and excerpts from the book that I want to elaborate on from listening to him and spending about an hour and a half with him on a, on a conference uh, a couple of nights ago. But everything in life that we get out of anything is about being consistent. We have to be consistent in what we do in order to be constant. If we're not constant, then we never get anything done. And this is what that, this, uh, this book talks about. Uh, Wilfred Pareto, Pareto's Principle, and we all know this. We've all seen it. We talk about it. It, it is the number one thing that you are taught in sales. 80% of all output comes from 20% of all input. So if you have 100 salespeople, 20% of those people are doing 80% of the work, and they're making 80% of the money. And the 80 percenters, are doing 20% of the work and making you 20% of the money. But you have to have those 80 percenters, okay? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now, I'm an 80 percenter. I've always been an 80 percenter. In many things that I do, I'm an 80 percenter. And I was talking last night on a, on a, on a, on a webinar that I do. You know, uh, I'm overweight. I, I mean, everybody knows. You see me on Facebook. Man, my cheeks are chubby, and it looks like you just want to pinch me right through the screen, right? It makes me just slap me on the big butt and say, hey, Carrie, how you doing today? You know, and, and, and I, I have a gym membership and I need to go to the gym every day. And uh, so I, I need to be uh, consistent in doing that so I can lose weight, so I can be healthy, so I can continue my businesses for the next several years and then retire and have a good, good retirement life. So I'm not just talking about business. I'm talking about everything we do in life. We have to become a 20 percenter in an 80 percenter mind. And that's what we have to learn to do. What does that mean for your company or organization? Literally, just a handful of people are doing all the work. And that's the way it's always been. And that's not going to change. 
So what's the difference between the high achieving 20% and the other 80%? It's not talent. Every one of you here are very talented. I've seen your work. I've talked to you on the phones. You're extremely intelligent. You know business backwards and forwards. You, you, most of you are educated. I'm not educated. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm educated, but I'm self-educated, okay? Uh, experience is not experience. We all have experience or we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. Uh, it's not seniority. I've seen people who have walked into offices and, and uh, done 10 times more than the most senior people there. And it's not even ambition. I, I believe we're all ambitious or we wouldn't be on training every single week, right? We not, would not be here if we, if we were not ambitious and, and have ambition to be successful. What is, it is, is the 20% do what needs to be done when it needs to be done consistently. You see, we have to be consistent in every single thing we do in order for the outcome to be exactly what we want it to be. Companies and organizations don't have a productivity problem. I can tell you right now, and look, just looking at everybody that's in this call right now, I've talked to 95% of you. You're always productive. Okay. You're always productive. The problem is, is consistency of going out and making it happen. You're very, very productive. You have a consistency problem of doing the, exactly what you have to do every day to go out and make that sale. How is the consistency chain different than the programs you've done in the past? And when I heard this and I saw him talk about this, and, and I was so thankful that I was on that call. This program is absolutely for everyone, but it's designed to be accessible, relatable, and most impactful for who? Us, the 80 percenters. Those of us who do not have the overdrive and and, and, and that, that will to just do everything we can to make it happen today. And I'm talking about sales. I'm talking about driving income. I'm talking about losing weight. I'm talking about getting healthy. I'm talking about eating right. I'm talking about everything that has to do with life and our business. Because I don't care who you are or what you are, you have some 80 percenter in you somewhere. If you didn't, then You'd be a, a superstar athlete, a superstar salesman. Your business would be doing seven figures right now, and, and you'd be the happiest person in the world. You'd, 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 you and your beautiful wife or partner or whoever you're with would be uh, on a boat right now in the Caribbean enjoying life because you did everything right because you were always that 20 percenter. I don't know any 20 percenters personally, never have. What about the 20%? This will be like steroids for your overachievers and your 20% or leaders will get an insight into the 80% mindset and a blueprint on how to help them become consistent. You see, even 20%ers aren't always consistent. We all fall off the wagon. First, a menu of segments that explains why this is going to work when nothing else ever has. How many of you have ever been to Coronado Island? I, I was stationed in San Diego when I was in the Navy, and I used to go to Coronado, Coronado all the time and watch the Navy SEALs. And it used to just absolutely amaze me because I would have given up in the first five seconds. When they stake those guys out here in this surf and the surf comes in and, 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 and it's splashing against their face and it looks like they're going to drown and, and die from uh, – die from asphyxiation, <laughs> it's watered all the water and everything else, you know, it looks like they're just gone, they're done. Uh, they don't give up, you know, they, they stay consistent in their goals and they, and they stay constant in their mindset and they do it and they do it every single moment that they're there because they want to quit, but they know they can't, you know, they don't want that option of quitting. You can walk out of Navy SEALs anytime you want to, they got a big bell, up by, up by the uh, quarters right there, and you just walk up and ring the bell and you're done. They send you back to sea and take you wherever you're going to go. Inertia, why momentum is superior to motivation. I, we're all motivated, right? I mean, we all have a goal. We all wake up in the mornings. We all say, you know what, man, I really, I, I, I'm really motivated to get up and do something in, this morning, but you have no momentum. You don't have that push. You don't have anybody behind you because you work for yourself. You know, you don't have that, you don't have that, uh, uh, 
one thing that you need to put you over the top. You know, give me momentum over motivation any day of the week. I, when, when, when you're running down a hill, there is no stopping, right? But when you're going up that hill, there is always something there to say, man, whew, I'm getting tired. I'm getting wore out. I mean, I just got to stop. I've got to stop, you know, and your motivation goes away. Momentum is going to keep you running every single time. Einstein says how we can integrate our thoughts with our vision. Why a direction is better than a goal. I mean, think about that. Have you ever thought about that? We've all got goals, but we have no direction. Everybody, how many of you on this call right now? How many of you on this training right now has a goal? Everybody here has got goals. I'm going to tell you right now, there's probably not one person, if, if we were talking on the phone or, or, or sitting down with a cup of coffee uh, at the little cafe downtown like William and I did uh, not too long ago or in, at the barbecue place like Will Sims and I did not too long ago. You know, we all had goals. Everybody's got a goal. But what is your direction? What are you going to do to get there? What is the roadmap for you to get there? You have to have a direction. A goal is just a, something in your brain that says, oh, this is what I want to achieve. Goals are going to change and they will go away if you have no direction to get you there. <laughs> and I love this. Right? Bob's son's got a dog that looks like this right here, just exactly like that. You know, why do you look at it? Why it's OK to be skeptical? You know, and everything we do in life, I don't care what we do, man. We've all been there. We've all seen programs. Y'all listen to me all the time. You're probably thinking, thinking on the other side of that, on the other side of this microphone, you know, man, I, I, he talks good game, you know. I wonder if he really does it. And uh, I was on a call not too long ago. And the guy said, you know what? If you do what you say you do, show me a checkbook. And I said, I don't have to show you my checkbook. Call me every day and I can tell you what I'm doing, you know. And uh, I don't need to show you my checkbook, what I, what I do and what I don't do. I mean, if you want to see it that bad, I'll show it to you. But I can tell you this. I got money coming every day from the job that I do. It's called recurring income. That's what I built, a recurring income model. And you can do the same thing. You know, you don't have to be skeptical if it works or not. You don't have to be skeptical or not if, if people are going to buy mobile web apps or not. People are going to buy the mobile business cards. I can promise you that. People will buy texting. I can promise you that. People will buy beacons. I can promise you that. You know, I have people come out. I don't think beacons work. Well, they may not work, but I've sold a, <laughs> a bunch of them. You know, I've sold a ton of them and they work for me. They may not work for you because you don't believe. See, there's a difference between disbelief and skepticism. You know, skepticism turns into disbelief. You know, I can guarantee there's many of you on this call right now that say, I don't believe in the business mobile business card. That's why you don't sell them. You know, if you can't believe in the basic mobile business card, you're definitely not going to believe in the mobile web app. You know, because 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 it's 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 one and the same. It's the, the the it's the end goal. It's what's going to get you where you want to be. It's that sell. You know, I, I don't care if you're selling toothpaste. That's right. If you perceive and believe you will succeed, that's absolutely correct. You know, that's absolutely correct. I'm going to tell you how simple this is, and I'm going, to use, I'm going to use you as an example, if you don't mind. I'm not going to call your name, but I'm going to use this as an example. Got a text message yesterday, a hysteric text, text message, okay? It's, it always, I always get tickled when I get that text message because I know the hysteria and, 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 and the, uh, uh, the sweats rolling and everything's going on, man. And I, I know the anxiety button is like on a, on a, on a 10, you know? And, and I'm pretty calm when people call and they're excited that things just aren't going right because I know it's going to be something simple or just a simple fix and no big deal, you know? And so uh, I went in and I started. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting choked here. So, I went in and started doing my deductions and started looking at things. I thought, man, I, I can't figure this out. Called my development team and said, hey, could you take a look at this? And, I, and they messaged me back and said, we don't know. You know, I said, this don't make no sense to us either. And so as we were, as we were working out everything and everything, you know, everything turned out to be just this simple. A battery. 
a simple battery. You know, the sky fell, the chicken little thingy, you know, the sky's falling, the sky's falling, all that. And, and, and so sometimes the emotion allows us to be skeptical. Our, our own drive, especially if we're high top A's, and <clears throat> most of you on here are high top A's, we're so, we're so high on what we do and we want everything to be perfect. Sometimes we allow our, our emotion and our anxiety to create this wall around us that says, oh my gosh, man, you know, things just aren't going to happen. And it turns out to be a factory, you know? And so I will promise you this, being in the support arena and, and the techno arena and the development arena and all those arenas, everything's got a fix. Everything has a fix and uh, it'll be found. You know, you just have to, it takes a little time, but Take what you're doing, put your head high, because you know what you're doing is doing going out there to help businesses succeed. And, and it'll always come back around. But uh, I was thinking about this uh, last night when I, was doing, when I was doing this presentation. You know, why it's important to protect your environment. You know, it, we allow people, and I, please do not take me wrong. I have removed the negative Nancy's and, 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 and the, the, the Dudley doers that can't do and all those people from my life. I, last year, I made a decision that negative people are not going to affect me any longer. And so I don't let them. I'll listen. I'll cut them off. I'll take another phone call and I move on. But all the negative in your life, it, 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 it's, it's biohazard chemicals that will absolutely turn your cart upside down and stop you from being successful. I'm not telling you not to love them and care for them and, 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 and pray for them and hope that, they're, that their life changes, but, but don't let them affect you. It's the worst thing that can happen to you. You know, it stops you right in the middle of your chain from, from succeeding. I, I see it happen. You know, I ask people all the time, hey, what are you doing now? Oh, I went back to work, man. What'd you go back to work for, man? I just couldn't take the pressure anymore. So you gave up an opportunity to make $100,000 a year. Now you're working for $30,000 a year and you still can't pay your bills. I mean, what kind of pressure is that? And now you don't have time to work on what you're going to do to make $100,000 a year. You know the difference between somebody making $100,000 a year and a person making $30,000 a year? Does anybody know? Just an extra little bit of effort and attitude. Just a little bit of effort and attitude. Your attitude will change everything. Your attitude affects your altitude. And we all want to go to the top. So get the negative people out of your life. Just get them out, you know. Uh, don't listen to them. Find something else to do. Turn on the radio or something. Don't even answer the phone. So let's dive deeper into this next one here. The marshmallow test, how we are going to make instant gratification serve us. <laughs> we all like instantaneous gratification, right? We all want to be instantly gratified. I'm that way. Uh, I call it the microwave effect. You know, when, when, when uh, uh, the microwaves first came out, my, I remember when my mom got one. I think it was from the Sears and Robot catalog, but it was huge. It was as big as my desk. And the only thing I remember ever cooking in it or seeing anything cooked in it was baked potatoes. I loved baked potatoes and it used to take about an hour to an hour and a half to cook a baked potato in the oven. But when the microwave oven came out, it took about eight minutes. So what did I do? I ate a baked potato every day, no matter what was going on, because I loved baked potatoes. You know, it was instant gratification. It immediately set upon me. I could I could achieve it immediately. But sometimes that's not always a good thing. Right. In the late 60s, a researcher conducted what became known as the marshmallow test. He gave five-year-olds an option, eat a marshmallow now or wait a few minutes and get another marshmallow. Approximately 20% displayed delayed gratification and got the second marshmallow. Now, I can tell you right now, if it has a roasted marshmallow, I wouldn't have waited. 
I can eat a roasted marshmallow faster than the fire can go out of, off the sugar, especially if it's starting to get a little bit dark. 80% caved, and that would have been me. I'm an 80 percenter when it comes to that. Caved to instant gratification and ate the marshmallow. Tested 12 years later, the 20% delayed gratification kids had higher SAT scores. Tested at midlife, the 20% kids scored higher in educational attainment, professional progress, relationship satisfaction, and physical health. And in 2011, a brain scan looked at two areas of the brain and accurately predicted whether the subject did or did not eat the marshmallow 40 years before. You know, we all want instant gratification. In other words, by age five, we are hardwired for either delayed or instant gratification and left unchallenged that hardwiring greatly determines our future success unless we make a change. And sometimes making a change is the hardest thing we can do as human beings, right? We don't like change. We find an idea that levers our natural desire for instant gratification to achieve long-term goals. The consistency chain is that lever. Now, I say it every single training. I'm as simple as simple comes. If you ever met me, you would think, wow, I, I wear shorts, uh, flip uh, uh, sandals, polo shirts. Uh, when I, I I've done presentations on stages to, you know, five thousand people, in blue jeans, a polo shirt, and a jacket with my titty shoes on. That's how. That's if if you want to see me get fancy, it, I'll put on a sports coat. Okay, I'm just simple that way. I don't, I, I don't waste my time tying a tie, you know, that takes up time in my life. I, I, I don't need to look like I stepped off of a, a jet plane, even though I did step off of a private jet plane. You know, I'm just that way. And, and the people I talk to that are, are, are simple people who want to get ahead, and it's always worked for me. Now, have I worn silk suits? Yes, I have, to funerals. <laughs> <laughs> the $800 million idea. Explained, expanded, and refined the consistency chain technique used by Jerry Seinfeld to become the highest earning comedian in the world. He focused on a direction to become a better comedian. Now, I'm going to ask you this question, and I'm, I'm, you don't have to give an answer or anything else. What is your direction? What is the focus of your direction? What do you want that to be? And you need to define that tonight. When we get off this call, or even while we're sitting here talking, you need to define your direction, okay? What do you want to become better at? Do you want to become a better salesman? Do you want to build a bigger business? Do you want to make more money? You know, you think about this for a moment. It only takes $8,333 a month to make $100,000 a year. That's not a lot of money. And it doesn't take a lot of work to get there. What do you want to become better at? What is it that you want to do? And I'm gonna tell you, and this is what I'm fixing to say, and I mean this from my heart because I love every single one of you like you're my own family. If you don't do this when you get off this call tonight and ask yourself, what do I wanna become better at? and start focusing on your direction, you're going to cheat yourself and you're cheating those around you that you love and care about that depend on what direction you go. Don't do that to yourself. Tonight, make a decision. What direction do I want to go? What do I want to become better at? He determined a 20% activity that would yield 80% results. He wrote every single day. He sat down and wrote every single day and got better at what the words were that he was using in his comedy. A 20% activity that would yield 80% results. And he used the most simple tracking system possible. And let me tell you something. When George was talking about this the other night and he showed this, Carrie was standing up shouting. I said, I can do this. This is simple. This is right down my alley, and it will allow me to stay on track. A simple calendar. 
And he wrote the first day and he put an X on that day. And then he wrote the second day and he put an X on the second day. But here's the difference. He did not see two X's. He saw a chain. He saw chain links that were starting to get him somewhere. You know, how many of you have ever seen a chain link fence? You can't pull it apart. You know, you can stretch it and stretch it and stretch it. And it always pops back. It locks itself into each other. And those chains are what bind that direction together. The third day he focused on one simple attainable go. Don't break the chain. Keep the chain going. Put that X in the box. Put another link in that box every single day. Does it work? This is George. This is his case study. And when he started talking about this, I literally had tears in my eyes because I pay a gym membership every single month. I quit going in November. I started last October. From October to November, I lost 35 pounds, and then I quit going. Things happened in my life. Some things changed in my life, and I just quit going. And what a dumb thing. I, I think to myself, you know what? I could have been down 60 pounds by now, you know, and I wanted to lose 60 pounds, and I cheated myself. My direction, be stronger, fitter, healthier. My 20% action, work out every day for 45 minutes. Understand this. I have never worked out consistently. This was my story. This is probably your story. There's nothing in my history to suggest I could work out consistently. I'm a total 80 percenter. I have a consistency issue, and I would have eaten the marshmallow. Does this sound like you? That's me? You can put any name up there you want. That says Carrie Miller. I've never worked out consistently. There's nothing in my history to suggest that I could work out consistently. I could say I have never com completed this. I could say I never had direction in this. I could say a thousand things and put it there. What do you need to start with? A goal. You need to start with a direction. And I definitely would have eaten the marshmallow. And as there's this date, April 3rd, 2017, I have completed 191 consecutive workouts. I have blown past consistent and landed on constant. And these are his actual chain calendars right here. If I don't get anything through to you tonight, I want this to be the thing that you remember. Don't just be consistent. Become constant. Constant will take you places that most people only dream of. Constant will help you in your business like nothing else ever has. Constant will open doors for you like nothing will ever open. I have met more people since I took the negativity out of my life that has changed my business life absolutely forever. I, I work with people in India. I work with people in the Philippines. I work with people in New Jersey. I work, I work with people all over the United States. I have customers in the UK. I have customers uh, in Australia. I have customers in Canada. The doors have just opened wide open because I found a new direction. And I wasn't using the consistency chain until I just found this. But I can tell you, this is going to be a part of my daily business life. I want to don't just want to be consistent every day in the things that I do. And I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to tell everybody. I take a nap every day. Every day about one o'clock, I take about an hour and a half nap because I work long hours. And sometimes I work late through the night. Sometimes I don't go to bed at night, but I take a nap every day. Me and my little dog. I, that's one thing I consistently do is I sit down in my recliner and me and my little dog take a nap every single day. Monday through Sunday, every single day, you know? Just think about this for a moment. What if I put that kind of consistency in everything else I did? What if that constant became consistent in everything I did? Think what I could achieve then. I might have to take two, I might have to take two naps a day, but guess what, man? I deserved it. I earned the right to do that. I want everybody on this call 
And some of you on here, I, I, I've talked to you. I've watched you for, for years, constantly go in circles. Tonight, when you get off this call, find a direction and know what direction it is you want to go. If you want to make $100,000 a year, and it may not just be money, but if it takes you $100,000 a year to attain and achieve what you want to do, then you make a plan, a consistent plan, and start your chain and get there tonight. If you just want to make an extra $1,000 a year, I don't care what the number is, write it down, make it real. It's what you feel in your what? Heart. And think in your mind, if that's what you really want, it will exude through your actions. I promise you, without question. And just do it. Just do it. I'm not telling you this so that you will think I'm amazing. And this is George talking, not me. I'm telling you this because I'm amazed. Nothing has ever helped me like the consistency chain. This works for me and 80 percenter, and it can work for every member of your audience. Every one of us, we need something to help guide us consistently. Now we owe them a chance to finally become the consistent, productive person they were meant to be. Do you owe someone that chance? Do you owe, do you owe someone in your life that one thing, to be consistent, to do the things that you're supposed to do? to achieve those things that you together said that, man, this would be great if we could do this. Could be a new house. Could be uh, going from a 2,500 square house to a 10,000 square foot house. Could be going from a, a 15 foot uh, dinghy to a, a nice yacht. Could be going from a Volkswagen to a Lamborghini. It could be simply doing nothing, just achieving the goals that you set forth because it's something that makes you feel good. We all love to feel good. We all love to feel good. <clears throat> the consistency chain, it works. I'm telling you, uh, this is George here, George Campbell, Hall of, Famers, Hall of Fame speaker, business, humorous, professional comedy writer, who has been featured on 60 Minutes and amassed 20 plus years of platform experience and a born and bred 80 percenter who overcame it. The greatest hour and a half I've spent in my life was having the opportunity to listen to him actually speak about this. And I think we all can do the same thing. I think we can all be a part of that. I think we can all make that happen if, if, if we find a direction. Any questions at all before we go? Well, just a couple of minutes over, not too bad tonight. I want to thank everybody for coming out. I want you to get off the call tonight. I want you to go look in the mirror and I want you to find your direction, not only for your business, but for yourself, not only for yourself, but for your loved ones that you're with every day that care about you because they want to see it too. Absolutely. BK. Hey, there was a lot of nuggets tonight, wasn't there, buddy? I've been living on these nuggets for the past few, past couple of days, man. It's been, it, that, that really, you know, it's funny how people can change your life when you, when you listen to something new and different. And uh, I, I knew we'd been talking about sales and I want to share this with everybody tonight. So um, yeah, that was a gold mine. You're right. I felt like I, I hit California, buddy, with a pick in my hand. Everybody have a great night. God bless, and we will see you next Wednesday. BK, just go in and set an appointment, my friend, and uh, I'll get on the on a call with you. Good night, everybody. Yes, sir. <laughs>